This morning, Maine is in so much pain, so many families waking up without their loved ones, without their friend, without their coworker, all gone because of another mass shooting in America. Our next guest, Leroy Walker, says his son died a hero, and he did. Listen. My son actually, because he's manager of the bar and everything else, picked up a butcher knife and went after the gunman to try to stop him from killing other people. And that's when he, he shot my son to death. His son, Joey Walker, was the manager at Schmengi's Bar and Grill, where at least eight people were killed. And his father says, my Joey will be missed by thousands. Leroy Walker joins us now. He's also a city councilor in Auburn, Maine, just miles from where this happened. Leroy, thank you for being here this morning. And what a hero mm. your son was. When you think about that, what does it say about the man that he was to you? I'm very proud of my son. I know that definitely he would do this all over again if, if this was to happen. All my life and all my son's life, we. We have faced many other things that have been crazy at times in life. Meeting people is, is my son's biggest thing. Knowing people and understanding them is also a big thing to Joe. Loved by many, loved by myself, and he would love back to everybody. So I know he would do such a thing to try to save lives and not let somebody hurt the people that he loved. And this was family. This place brings thousands of people in in a year. And uh, Joe is usually the first face that they see coming through the door and the last one they see going out the door. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for a lot, a lot of people. And of course, hard for myself and my family and his wife, grandchildren, his stepchildren. It, they're a loving family. And for someone to do this to so many families as well as mine, it's just crazy. Yeah. It leaves you an empty hole that I don't know how it will ever be filled. We're looking at these wonderful pictures of the two of you together as you're helping everyone remember your son and his big smile. Um, our heart, obviously, is with his wife, Tracy, and his whole family as well. He did so much to help people that needed the most. He, he did a lot for veterans. He was about to raise money for veterans. Yes, him and I had talked about it. I connected him with a, a good friend of mine that's a veteran. And uh, Jerry DeWitt and him were going to meet, I believe, uh, the next day. Uh, of course, that's not going to happen now, but uh, hopefully somebody can pick up that ball and run with it. But uh, it's, a, it's a very short time. November 11th was the date picked to do this. Yeah. And I, I don't know if it's going to happen at this time. I'm struck by your remarks yesterday that you do not harbor uh, hate or anger for the man who took your son's life. And I wonder how that's possible, despite your grief. Uh, you have to put that, that part of it, you have to put it out of your mind. Uh, you have to let the Lord do whatever needs to be done. and. Uh, if this person was, at the time, in his right mind, I believe he would have been a loving person, just like we are. Uh, There's something that went wrong. Uh, and uh, I just can't ha hate him. Uh, I believe in the Lord, and I think the Lord will prevail in the end here. And uh, I guess we can't make our choices on people, but I can't, I can't hate this person. I've, I've been taught different than that, I hope, anyways. And uh, I believe in the Lord, and, uh, 
and I have to feel that way. You can't run around this world hating people if you do. These kind of things will happen more and more. They may be only individual things that happen, but if you hate and they hate drives you crazy, you're going to hurt people. And I've had my ups and downs in my life, and uh, I don't want anyone to hurt me, and I don't want to hurt anybody. And I'm sure this man, whatever happened to his mind, I'm sure he wasn't born to be a killer. And instead of, I'm sure, a father and a mother that would have never believed this would have happened with him. So all I can say is I'm sorry that it's happened to all of us, and I'm sorry what may happen to him. And God will prevail. It's just Hate will never bring my son back. No, it won't. It just... It's just amazing to hear you with so much love in your heart, Leroy. Um, for people who don't know, you also lost your daughter 25 years ago. Um, I did. In a car accident. So to have to lose two children and still be able to um, have, fit, have such faith and such love in your heart is, is remarkable. What can everyone watching do for you? How can we help you? Uh, uh, just pray for everybody. Pray for the people that passed away with my son. Pray to the Lord that this doesn't happen again in our community. None of us would have ever believed this if we would have asked each other five days ago if this was a possibility. Nobody, nobody would have believed it. Nobody would have thought it. We, we have, we really have a loving community. We have two cities here, sister cities. They both believe that their city is the best city, and that's the way we are, but we love each other. We travel back and forth to all businesses. We make plans together. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And as a city councilor, uh, I know a lot of their feelings. They know a lot of mine. The two cities try to make, make the cities the proudest place to be. Diversity, of course, is here, and we know that. Uh, but we don't go around shooting each other. Uh, so. You know, uh, I, I just hope we can move on through this, uh, get it behind us so that we can start healing. And, uh, and thank God we have you people to keep our uh, loved ones alive for a few more days. Uh, Leroy Walker, your son, it is clear that all the good in him came from so much good in you. Thank you for sharing about him with us this morning. And we're here for whatever you need. Thank you very much. Of course.